Hey, what's up, fire children? Chad Allen here, and welcome back to Fire Child Video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at something that I am super excited about, something that just thrills me to death. We're going to look at how to install and work with Lux Render. Now, we're not going to take a look at a specific design, and we're not going to go too in detail on the ins and outs, because uh, our friends over at Blender Cookie, BlenderCookie.com, already did that. Mr. Jonathan Williamson, uh, I'm sure you guys have heard of him by now, recently did a tutorial on an introduction to Lux Render in Blender 2.5. Now, as I was reading through his comments, I noticed there was one thing that, that he may have been missing. Uh, he was working on a Mac at the time, so the step-by-step -step on how to install Lux Blend and how to install Lux Render was kind of from a Mac perspective. And in his comment section, there's a lot of people questioning, how do I do this on Windows? I'm having problems finding this script folder. I'm having problems knowing where to put this stuff. I can't find you know the folders I need. So I figured I'd pipe in with a quick little introduction to help you Windows users out. So um, if you're a Mac user, you've probably already got all this information from Mr. Williamson. Uh, for you Windows users, hopefully you guys will find this a little bit useful. You'll be able to uh, navigate Windows a little bit better and get this thing installed and uh, you know, limited amount of cursing at uh, Mr. Bill Gates. So let's go ahead and, oh, we don't need that one. Let's go ahead and first thing we're gonna need to do is install LuxRender. So we go to the LuxRender homepage, which is luxrender.net. And under the news tab, you'll see Lux Render 0.7.1 released. Now we want the new maintenance release. So we want to click this right here. If it's not in the news tab, by the time you're messing with it, you can probably find it under the downloads section. I'm pretty sure. Let's just click and find out. Oh, do, 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 do. oh that's old stuff. So let's, yeah, version 0.7.1. Step two, install or download. So you would just pick it here. But what we're doing, since it's still in the news section, is we're going to click new maintenance build right there. It's going to take us to the 0.7.1 release. And all we need to do is pick our installer, as you just saw a little bit earlier. I'm on a 64-bit system, so I installed the 64-bit installer. Uh, just download it. You know, you click on it. It's going to pop up your, your typical download screen. Download it. And it's a fairly self-explanatory, very straightforward installer. So we're going to skip that part. But the next thing we're going to need, and this is the important one, is Lux Blend. Now, Lux Blend, as you can see here, also note we don't provide the Blender 2.5 exporter due to the still moving target that Blender 2.5 is. It could become obsolete in a few days, so yada, yada, yada. Better check the Blend, Lux Blend forum for the latest release. So if you click here, it's going to take you to this screen. And all we really need to worry about in the forum here is the very top one, installation instructions and issues. You click that one and it's going to take you right here. And again, we have to click one more time for the luxrender.net wiki, which will take you Go ahead and just close that one right there. It'll take you here. I know a lot of clicking. If you watch the Jonathan tutorial, uh, I'm pretty much saying the same thing he said at this point. Um, we'll go down here and now what we need is to get Lux Blend. So you start here, the code can be found right there. And what I'll do is in the description of this video, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, I'll put it in the description section, the direct link. So you don't have to go through all this clicky, clicky, clicky. Uh, if you're watching on the blog, I'll also have it, uh, the, the links at the bottom of this post. So, uh, make it go a little quicker for you guys. So we'll go ahead and click the, uh, SRC dot blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you don't need to really worry about any of this stuff except zip right here. We want to download the zip. So you'll click it and save it. I already did. So once it downloads, you know, open it up in your WinRAR or whatever you're using, and you'll see LuxBlend 25 dash blah, 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 all that stuff. So we can go into it. And the only thing we need in all of this is under SRC. That's our source. And we just need this Lux render folder. Now, where do we put it in? Uh, the Blender Cookie tutorial, he went through and showed you on a Mac where to go. But in Windows, he kind of touched on where to put it, but there's a little few ins and outs that he didn't mention that if you're not incredibly familiar with how Windows operates, you're, you're going to have some problems. So that's why we're here. Uh, what we need to do is we need to go into our hard drive. So we can just go into our local disk. And right off the bat, let me just go ahead and fix this real quick. Uh, so let's see, do not. Odds are this is what you're seeing. Um, you know, your first instinct's gonna be to go into program files 
and uh, Blender Foundation and Blender because what we need to do is we need to install, put this Lux Render folder, we need to put it into the scripts uh, add-ons folder for Blender. So your first instinct would be to go into Program Files, Blender, and you know find the scripts folder. But there is no scripts folder if you go through Program Files. That's because we need to install it in a little hidden folder. Uh, if we're on our local disk here, so you just go into your local disk. If we go down to users, which is right here, and then if you labeled your computer with your name, it'll be your name. I've got HAL 9000. Uh, I'm sure you guys get that, that reference. Anyway, not important. Moving on. You go into your users folder and then into your name. And in here, you should be able to find your Blender folder, but again, not there. That's because it's a hidden folder. So to bring up that hidden folder, we need to press the Alt key on your keyboard and it'll bring up your taskbar. Then we can go Tools, Folder Options. And if we go to View, we can go right here, Hidden Files and Folders. Right now, it's currently set on Do Not Show. We want to tell it to Show and then hit OK. And now our hidden folders are there. And all we need to look for, you'll see this grayed out one. That's just to say it's normally hidden. App data. So we'll click that. And then we want to click roaming. And then find Blender Foundation, Blender, your current release, wherever you want to install it. I had 5.3.5.4. I'm currently using Blender 2.55. So we'll go into 2.55. And there's our scripts folder. I know it was kind of a pain to find it, wasn't it? So we'll go scripts and then add-ons. And I've already done this because I'm, I've been using LuxRender for a while, but we've got a LuxRender folder here. If you're just installing this, this folder won't be here because that's what this is. So in your zip folder that you downloaded, you just basically take this and drag it over into the add-ons folder, scripts, add-ons, and you just drag it in right there. And that's really all there is to it. Once that's set up, you can go back into Blender, fire up Blender, and then turn it on by going File, User Preferences. And under Add-ons here, we can go Import Export, or actually Render, and render the Lux Render right here. All we have to do is check mark it, and it is good to go. To activate it, you just pull down right here at the top. Lux Render will be there, and you're good to go. Now, hopefully, you haven't had any other issues. Let me just run through real quick how to get to this folder one more time, just to help you out. All right, so we go into our hard drive, and then what we're going to do is go to Users, and then we're going to go to our user, the current user that you're using. Then you're going to want to hit Alt, you know, Tools, Folder Options, and you want to make sure Show Hidden Files is enabled, and that'll, uh, that'll uh, turn on App Data where you can see it, and then into Roaming. Blender Foundation, Blender, the current release, scripts, and add-ons. Okay, so I went through it twice, and then all you would do is take that zipped Lux Render folder, drag it into this folder, the add-ons folder, and it'll show up, and you should be good to go. Hopefully that helps clear up a few things for you Windows users. I know it was kind of a pain, and uh, we didn't do much design or 3D stuff today, but uh, now that we're going to be up and running with Blender 2.0, uh, Lux Blend 2.5. There's going to be some exciting uh, tutorials on the horizon here at Firechild Video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I hope you guys found this useful. If you have any questions, uh, something's not working right, can't find the right folders, the files, whatever, uh, drop me a message, uh, leave a comment, or uh, shoot me an email, and I'll do anything I can to help you guys. Um, once again, my name is Chad Allen. You're watching Firechild Videos Blender Tutorials. I will see you guys, uh, well, pretty soon as I'm about to get started recording the next tutorial. So <laughs> take care, guys. Bye-bye.